Well, welcome aboard Impavidus. This week we're going to be fitting a new charger uh, which has a built-in inverter. It's the Victron Compact. So it takes power from our lithium batteries and provides us with 230 volt power when we're not plugged into the mains. When we're plugged into the mains via the shore power, it takes the shore power and turns that into 12 volts at 60 amps to charge our lithium. It also bypasses the charger and allows things like our water heater uh, and other 240 volt systems like our freezer to run directly from 230 volts which is more efficient. One of the other things that we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a touch screen and a Raspberry Pi computer to our Victron system so that we can monitor everything in real time and keep some records. That will probably come up next week, but we've got a few bugs to iron out first. Here we are again, boats in turmoil. Stuff everywhere. Cindy's had enough, she's going to Migros. And there's the reason why. So, Multi Plus Compact 2000 Watt Victron uh, Inverter Charger, compatible with our lithium. Didn't buy this new, it came up from a fellow boater. It was on a boat was used for about a month maybe less and um, then it was upgraded so I got it at a good price our old inverter although it's pure sine wave it's a Chinese one where are we? here we are that's our old inverter so that's 2500 watts continuous 500 surge and the Victron is 4000 surge to 2000 continuous Hello. so we have the chart table apart that's over there and what we're doing is we are working with mains voltage right so if you are not competent or not happy working with mains voltage switch off now so let's run you through we have our 12 volt cut off switch for our lithium this is our speaker to our um, Garmin VHF these are the mains cables in that's the earth don't know what that one is something spurious those two there are the old 70 square millimeter cables it's the old inverter which went in here this one is going to go in here I've got to make a standoff piece for it and it was easier just to take the chart table out uh, than try and work upside down, you know, hanging from the ceiling by my chandeliers. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We've identified which one's which. A port and starboard, port and starboard radial circuits. That is the hot water boiler. Uh, that one is the mains in. Breakers are underneath here, and there's some spares there. Not sure I like those little. Um, connect to things so this is how our existing system is set up we have our mains charger here and this is set to lithium and it charges both our lithium batteries and our AGMs so what are we going to do well we're going to leave that charger in place just as a backup it won't hurt to have two chargers and of course it is dedicated to lithium and it's charging the AGMs the observant among you will see that I haven't actually put the mains cables into this drawing. Uh, yes, my faux pas. Anyway, so this is the new schematic and you'll note that I have put the cable in into there. Let's uh, go through it with you. So our mains voltage comes in via shore power here and then travels down to our main breaker box. At this point it goes through a 20 amp earth leakage circuit breaker. Now this isn't the first circuit breaker it goes through. There's actually one behind the shore power which is 40 amps. But uh, again I haven't put that in. Because I don't want to overcomplicate the drawing. 
the mains voltage then goes into the multi plus and it's a fairly easy straightforward connection through the bottom of the system I'll show you where that is you will see on this drawing that there are actually six terminals here that's the live neutral and earth and for you Americans that's the hot wire the ground and the neutral just showing off my bilingual skills there anyway let's move on so the six terminals are for the feed in and the feed out now this is where the multiplus does something quite clever the left set of terminals are for your power in and the right set are for your power out now the multiplus can actually do something quite clever here it can take the mains voltage and boost the amperage using your batteries so actually you can put 20 amps in and take 40 amps out yes you'll kill your batteries fairly quickly but the multiplus can do that through its inverter stage now the lower part of the case has another shield over it and this has holes as well as some grommets to allow all of the cables including your low voltage straight into the unit you simply remove the lower part of the case and it exposes all the entry holes inside the main panel is where the low voltage terminals are and again this is really well set out and described in the installation manual from Victron if we go back to my circuit diagram you'll see that I've uh, drawn in those two low voltage cables coming out the bottom there and connecting to the shunt up here much the same as the old inverter did before I removed it and yes the observant among you will again have seen that I haven't included the fuse and the cutoff switch which is in that low voltage line but for all you keyboard warriors I'll point it out with a big polka dot arrow exactly where it is <laughs> so having read the destructions carefully um, this metal plate sits up underneath here and holds this in position and this stands off about 10 millimeters just under half an inch and the same at the bottom now I have this piece of timber that runs down here piece of quadrant and that is thicker that's about 12 to 15 millimeters than that standoff so I need to stand off at least half as much again what that will allow me to do is to bring these cables down under here under the bottom put them in trunk in so I know that this plate will have to go 100 mil from the top like that so I'm going to put a standoff piece of whoops piece of teak in here which will stand off an extra 10 millimeters just under half an inch and that will allow me to drop that in and still give me room to put the table chart table back in and I'll stand off the same at the bottom and that will give me plenty of room make that all nice and tidy so uh, let's get the drill out and uh, make some holes right well with a lot of to and fro in this is now firmly mounted on here I've left a little space on top not that it really matters because the uh, fans on this which are up here they actually vent through what appears to be hand holes on the side of it you see in there um, uh, so well, it is just enough cable to go on through the bottom and I've now got to connect the positive and the negative um, and then I've got some dip switches to set some other bits and pieces just to go run through just want to double check the installation guide make sure we're okay but yeah I thought I was gonna to have to use some string and draw draw wire through and pull a new cable through and what have you but there's just enough on those existing cables and they're right rated um, bigger than's needed for this so the Victron the Victron um, uh, explanation installation guide tells you what size cables you need over what length 
and I haven't checked their calculations but I'm sure that they're probably right but yeah these ones are big enough it's a very short distance just under a meter so that'll be fine now we've got our big fuse over there on our where is it there big fuse and isolator there's also another fuse in here so what I haven't got is a breaker between this and the mains which um, I think I'm gonna have to go and get one for hey ho well I said it was a mess earlier but it's only got worse they've had to take all the breakers out in order to split the power supply disconnect all of those in there pull a new cable in pull the heat sensor in to the lithium batteries which meant pulling those cables through and hopefully we can get this all in by tonight otherwise it's going to be a very dark and dismal evening <laughs> now at this point i have to tell you that the multi plus doesn't have bluetooth i don't know why victron have done it like that but you have to buy something else to go on the multi plus to make it wireless and it's this the ve bus smart dongle and what this piece of kit does is it connects to your multi plus and allows your multi plus to be seen on your bluetooth network the software you've already got on your iphone or ipad or android which is a bit disappointing really because you know you'd think that it would have it built in but hey ho so having bought this piece of kit and gone to the settings button in the corner on your phone you think you'd be able to change all the settings for the multi plus unfortunately it's very limited on what you can actually do with it and therefore you need to buy another piece of kit let's show you what that is yep you're going to need to buy this the victron interface mark three to usb what this does is it allows you to connect a cat5 cable you know one of these computer cable type thingies directly to your multi plus and then from the multi plus to the usb converter and then to your mac or pc yeah hmm now there are actually two of these data inputs shown here you're going to need both of them well why are you going to need both well remember i said that i'd got to change some settings with the dip switches well actually it's quite difficult to do so and you really need to do it using a computer to link to the computer you need to have this data cable in place and then to upgrade the firmware to upgrade the firmware and change the settings you then need a three digit password from Victron now as it happens 20 minutes on a computer will find you that password but it's not easy and there's all kinds of interfaces and interlocks that stop you doing what you want to do without that password you will also need to download the Victron control app for either your Mac or your computer and there are still some bugs with it on Mac that's down to Apple though once you have the software loaded to your computer and it's working you can then find your multi plus and change the settings that's always assuming that you can get past the password that wants you to enable the settings in order to change them on your own piece of kit hmm wasn't impressed with that i must say victron on the other hand i can understand that the risk averse pen pushers would not want anyone to touch anything unless they were wrapped in bubble wrap or wearing the appropriate PPE risk assessed of course there are some quite high voltages involved here and it is potentially lethal if you don't know what you're doing then always seek the advice of a qualified electrician okay let's move on now one of the things that the Victron can do is quite clever it can take the AC in and boost the AC out by using your battery power how's that useful well something like air conditioning or water maker takes a lot of amps in the first few milliseconds to start it up and the Victron can boost the mains from either your generator or your shore power to give you that extra kick to run things one of the things we noticed on our shakedown cruise from both our sets of solar 
well, that we wanted to have more, well, information from them. And that included the information from our BMV 712 battery monitor. And of course, when we got the inverter, we wanted more information and more ability to see what's going on. And then I remembered our friends at Sailing Cadola. When they fitted an inverter, a Multi Plus 2 I think it was, they fitted one of these. It's a Raspberry Pi 7 inch touchscreen. And there are a few tweaks now that I've looked into it, which can give you an awful lot of information. If you then add that to our onboard Wi Fi, which is continuously running, whenever we've got a signal, we can get that information from either our phones or our iPads remotely. We can also connect alarms like our bilge alarm or smoke alarms or CO2 detectors to the same piece of software. And with a GSM card, it will phone us when something goes wrong or there's an alarm. Now that is something special, but more about that next time. Oh, hi folks, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, there's not an awful lot of detail in this one, but um, hopefully you'll go to the Victron website and uh, have a look at some of the documents that they've got, which are free. You can download them and read through them. Some really good information there, especially on the, um, the solar regulators, the inverters, the chargers and all the stuff there. Or they've got some really good videos on YouTube as well, uh, well worth watching. Um, um, it's a shame that the Multi Plus doesn't come with some of the stuff included that we've had to buy um, as an extra because that it, it wasn't cheap. Um, but you know, it is what it is, I suppose. Um, we have saved quite a bit of money with the Raspberry Pi, um, and that's because we've made quite a lot of the cables up ourselves. I'll go into more detail on that next week. Um, if you'd like to see that video or you've got any comments before it goes out um, on what you'd like to see then uh, let us know in the description and while you're down there give us a thumbs up a nice like and hit the subscription bell subscribe because otherwise you won't get notifications and uh, our videos are kind of different every week um, you know one week we'll be doing tourist information and, and drone flights and 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 how to anchor and what have you and another week we'll do technical videos so you never know what's coming next and that's the that's one of the points of our channel we don't want to be you know in a specific groove where we just do one type of video okay guys well it's uh the call to prayer has just started and uh it's time to have a brew so i'm gonna go and put the kettle on and uh, pour myself a tea uh until next time sail safe Take care.